Hello and welcome to a tutorial about the decal system here in Maya with Redshift with the Quixel Mega Scans. So first we need a plane. Let's get it bigger. Height grid, we don't need them. And we need two cameras. One is the shot cam and the other is the projector cam. The projector cam needs to be look straight down to the plane because it has to project the texture. With this we can go for a good angle. I think this will be fine for now. And we need a light. I think this will be okay. So let's move over to the hypershade. It's a little bit bigger that you can see what I do here. Okay, so here are my two Quixel assets I loaded in before, and here's the tree of it. We don't need the bump glass and specular for multiply and divide node for the ambient occlusion. And here we are. Let's do here the same. Multiply in the ambient occlusion. Okay, so we don't need this one, and now we go for a material blender node. This we can also delete, because it's this one. Go for the base, so we can disconnect, and this will go to the layer color one. Now we need that. Displacement, oh, displacement this, this blender node because we have two displacement maps here. This is the base. Let's go open, open it. So, and this one will be the second one. It's just a little bit better here. Okay, so now we go for projector node. And here we can go for the perspective mode. And under the camera settings, we choose the projector node. Let's bring in the node. Here is it. And now we can start to connect all the stuff here. So it's really important to connect first the texture here to the projector and then to the displacement node otherwise it will go for a lot of errors now we can duplicate it connect it also to the camera now you can see it's connected with the blue lines here now the color one to the image the red channel goes for the reflection roughness duplicate here, normal map, we do the same as the displacement. First we go for the projection, then we go into the normal node. Don't forget to connect it to the camera. Duplicate one more time. Oh, double it up, so. Connect it, this is the opacity. This we can disconnect, we don't need it, but this will be white, otherwise you can see it. And this will go for the color channel. So here we are. This we need for our displacement. And 
properties for the blend color. Here we need also color correct remap, uh, color remap node. This will mess up <laughs> the whole thing here. Oh man. Let's do it a little bit better. Here is it. So we have to clamp the color. I can show you this later why. And uh, super messy now. What the crap? Mm -hmm. So this displays it from here. Okay. And why is the albedo? Where is this albedo? Ah, I see it, I see it. So, now we are ready to go. Here, we need the uh, redshift displacement settings. And now we can apply the material. And now hit render. Okay, so here we can go for Oh, 0.1, 0.1, and in the displacement settings here, we also need to adjust it. 0.1, go for the shotgun. Oh, not bad. This one is a little bit too bright. So we can adjust it a little bit down. Okay, so I want to show you why is it important to clamp it. Otherwise, it will look um, like that. Now you can see the borders, and that's not that what we want. And this is why we need to clamp it away. Yeah, I think now trophy. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so here we also have to check the displacement. It's too high. One. Now it looks better. Okay, so one last thing. Just to color correct this broken part here. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Here is it. Now we can adjust it that it fits better to the texture, the contrast. And yeah, now it looks not so bad, I think. Go to shot cam, get around. But the cool thing now is you can now place wherever you want the decal. We update it. Now is it here? Now is it here? Now is it here? If you want to have it bigger, go to the node, scale it up. Now is it bigger? And yeah, that's how to set up the system. I hope you can learn something and I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, so see you soon. Bye bye.